Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, this is the Brim and Grum Let's Play. I'm Brim, that's Grum, and here's the reason we wanted... Oh, are you blowing up the world? Do it! Go for it! Get them all! This is the reason we wanted the... Uh, you better keep running! Oh my goodness! This is the reason we needed the farm. Uh, it is so much easier. You're gonna die. You're gonna blow yourself up. It's gonna be hilarious. Keep going! Keep going! This is one of the reasons we needed the farm. And the reason I said the other day I was done down here until we got our farm done... Uh, mining with uh, TNT is just worlds easier than mining with my pickaxe. Oh, Grum, you cracked me up. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, and Grum did blow himself up. That is hilarious. Let's see if, uh, oh my goodness. Uh, let's see if, are you coming back? Do you want your stuff? I will avoid your stuff. Uh... Oh, I haven't moved. I have considered uh, moving this over. I have considered moving the world spawn point. We have a problem with uh, the server for some reason. Every time they get killed, even if they've slept in the beds, it sends them back to our original spawn point. I haven't done that because I really wanted y'all's feedback on how y'all feel about that. A lot of people would consider moving the world spawn point uh, to be cheating because wherever that world spawn point is, those chunks are always going to be loaded. I'm going to TP him to me. Uh, TP you to me. Um, so I thought I'd check with you guys and see how y'all felt about that before I did it. Uh, we just, I, we don't know why, but for some reason, I've got all your stuff, Grum. Uh, for some reason, it just refuses to let us play nice and sleep and come back to our beds the way it should. So, all right, we do have a build plan for, uh, this afternoon, so I am going to pause the video right here, and I've kind of already got stuff. Here's some more TNT for you to blow yourself, I mean, play with, Grum. Have fun. Go enjoy that. So I'm going to pause right here and run back upstairs and show you a couple things, and then we're going to run out. We're going to do the, uh third and final piece of our dark room spawner. We're going to do the storage room for that, and um, we're going to take care of that this afternoon. So I wanted to show you, we did spend some time AFK in there, and honestly, I didn't spend too long. I spent maybe, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, and um, yeah, it's working. It's working. There's there's no doubt that it's, oh, lovely gunpowder. Um, so it's, the system is definitely doing what it's supposed to be doing now. So the problem is at this point, eh, glitch chest, the problem at this point is that the entire system is completely filled up and backed up, and mobs are now hitting the, the kill pad and just laying there. Uh, their, their items are plopping down on the ground and just sitting there because there's no place left for that stuff to go. So we're going to build a storage area today and uh, automatic item sorter for that, and we'll take care of that in just a few minutes. I'll meet you out there. Okay, guys, we are back up here at the farm. Uh, can you, you can't quite see the farm from here. The sun is going down, or the spawner, rather. Um, so that's all the half slab that we had in. And then here is a ring around the top. I said we'd have a ring around the top where the... Uh, why are we not seeing mobs falling? Hello? Mobs, rain from the sky, please. Um, anyway, they'll come down in a minute. Surely, they'll come down in a minute. So, um, we've got this ring built around here. And this is a block and a half tall, so I can't get out, and the enemy can't reach me. And this is too wide, because I can grab my sword and back up against this wall, and I can hit in, uh, endermen that are standing out there, and they cannot hit me. Okay, why isn't our, um, hmm, I don't see no stinking mobs. Oh, about that time, one fell. Here they come. All right, so, let's take a look at our chest that's down here. Ding, ding, down a level. And, uh, it's completely full, and this is completely full, and that's completely full, and this is completely full, and it doesn't really matter how far I back up through this, we're going to find that these are full, and they're full way on out here, too. The problem is, well, there you go, that one wasn't, so... The problem is we've got uh, very little storage and a whole lot of items. So what we need to do is we need to build and bleh, I heard a um, we need to build an item sorter and a place for all this fun loot to go. So we're going to need to go down um, from here. So we'll need to build a pipe that goes back up the line, and this will be the layer that our pipe is on. So this stuff will all have to come out. Um, but I'm but I'm I can probably pop. Pro I'm trying to think of the best way to do this without losing any items. Because uh, if I pop that chest, uh, if I pop that chest, the stuff that's in it's going to spill out over the edge and we'll lose a bunch of it. Um, and as much as I hate to lose gunpowder, you know what I could do? Do that, and then that, and then that, and then that, and then that. So the worst case scenario, I'm going to lose, ha ha, is the potatoes, and I don't even think I lost any of them. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so we need to build... Uh, if the pipe is at this level, so we'll come down and into our pipe, and our pipe will go that way. If our pipe is at this level, then we need to go down one, two, I think four more beneath that to get, um, so this would be one. Oh, I'm going to fall off here. If I fall, if I fall, as long as I keep running. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Uh oh, Grum bought it again. Ah, okay. And then we'll take this back out. So one, two. Did I end up coming up short one? One, two, three. Alright, let me do the math real quick and see if I can fix I don't want to teleport you here. Alright, hang on guys, I'll be back with you in a second. Let me teleport Grum around and then we'll uh we'll get things taken care of. Okay, so the math is right. I apologize for that. Um Grum, if you want, we need to empty that chest. So if you want to start working on emptying that chest, I'm gonna work on getting us a hole poked. Oh, uh, a hole poked in the floor right beneath here. So right here and here, here and here. Just get us a little build pad set up here. Uh, and we're also going to go ahead and get, um, in, in our next episode, we're going to get uh, our nether hub built because we're spending a lot of time now um, walking back and forth between our various locations. And um, obviously, we're going to want to do as much of that as we can in the nether so that we get the uh, 8 to 1 movement bonus for moving through the nether. I'm going to build a pad here, uh, and I'll be right back with you in just a second. Okay, guys, we're back, um, and I have dropped a pad in there. This is our original pad where we had the uh, smooth stone and the glowstone up here, and we'll need to move part of this down. But uh, I've already built the first sorter, um, just so that you can see exactly what it does. And obviously, I've not yet connected it up there because we want to get everything in here. This first one, look out, Grum! This first one is for um, gunpowder, and then we'll just put one item per in through here. So uh, we'll drop string in this one. If I can get my shift key to work. Um, I guess we can drop bones in this one, etc., etc. So so um, this item sorter, this is, as far as I know, this is the most compact item sorter in the game. Look out, Grom, I'm trying to show them. This is the most compact item sorter in the game. So we're going to want, and, and it's tileable. That's why it is so compact. So um, really, this level... Uh, well, I guess the bottom level technically could be left out um, if you only want a single chest, but I suspect we'll get a lot of stuff in here, so we're going to need... I, I want at least two double chests for each item, so we could have two double chests of uh, gunpowder here and two double chests of etc, etc. So to do that, in order to stack these sides, I think this one is... Is that a trap chest? I think this one is trap chest. Nope, it must be regular chests. So we have to go back and forth. Look out, Grum! You need to go do something else. Urgh. Troll. Grum's being a troll. All right, so we put those there and those there, and then... Now, your instinct will be to put this next row of hoppers in here, but if you do that, you then cannot reach these torches. So what you really want to do next is put in the row of stone behind yourself and put those torches in. Bang, bang, bang. And then just go right around to the back and go ahead and put in your um, repeaters with no delay. Now you can put in those extra hoppers here, here, and here. Then you can put in your next row of stone here, here, and here. And then we need our comparators. Bang, bang, and bang. Now, this is the secret to the whole thing. This, um, yeah, this um, hopper right here must not be pointing at anything. If it is pointed at anything, this is where we will filter at. If it's pointed at anything, it'll push its items out of the way before it can get filtered. So the way I do that is I use the uh, comparator that's back here and just aim at the side of it. So I'm actually pointing the hoppers at the comparators. And then we just need to come back in here and put uh, a layer of stone here. Uh, whatever your block of choice is hit there and there. And then it's okay that these all connect. Eh, eh, eh. And then we use this one as the filter layer. And you can see that we get 18 plus 4. So we get 22 items in there. If I were to drop in one more gunpowder, it will go ahead and head down to the chest. Now, what I don't want to do here while I'm testing is drop in, like, this whole stack. Because the way this works is that this comparator is only strong enough to light up to power, when there's one more item in there, to power this block, which powers this block and goes back through. It's not strong enough to come over and down and power the one over here. But if I were just to drop a whole stack of gunpowder in there, it will power this one and this one and this one, and we'll go ahead and mess up the filtering that's going to happen up here. So we, we have to be a little bit careful. Now, obviously, once this is hooked up all the way to the top, it will feed in uh, at whatever rate it's coming down, which is one item at a time, which is as fast as, I mean, these can process one item at a time and soak in that one. So we'll be okay after that. Now, we're just going to extend this out a ways. I don't know, see. I'm not exactly sure how far we need to go. Um, wrong chests. And then, but get off there! Grum, urgh, Grum's trolling me. It's so terrible. We're just going to do this until we run out of chests for now. And I can hear bad guys just a-falling up top. And that's a good thing. We like it when bad guys are going splat. Uh, and then the last... Oops, I shouldn't have switched over. The last row, we, um, we won't filter. Alright, well, I'm glad I was holding the shift key really hard, because... I'm going to run out of hoppers. Um, eh, eh. Alright, Grum. I'm getting trolled by my own people. Isn't that terrible? Alright, one, two... <laughs> You're getting trolled by me and I'm getting trolled by you, huh? I see how it is. Er, er, you better be glad I can't push you off of here. Alright, so let's see. I can't. I don't have enough hoppers with me to do this whole thing. Right, that was a 
mistake on my part. So let me. Oh my goodness! Now you know, never work with uh, children. Never work with animals, right? So uh huh, uh huh. Put in one more here. Bang and bang. This gets that and that, and a comparator right here, and a hopper pointed right there. What was that? Are you throwing eggs in my system? Man, I'm seriously getting trolled. Let's see, where's the kick command? Okay, so... Ooh, I have really... Do I have any more? I do. Let's put uh, at least one more row of stone bricks in here so I don't go falling off the side of the world. All right. Yeah, it's starting to look good now. You know, I, I hesitate to hook this up. Uh, we're going to need one... I tell you what, for now, we'll just go ahead and feed everything that's left right into here. And uh, we need to start the far end. We'll go up from there, and then what we do is we pass all the items in the system. I'm not going to run out of... I'm going to be one hopper short. No! I got exactly enough! Okay. Whew! Oh, oh. Stuck on a block. So, we should be able to look under here and see... Alright, so we see that there uh, is a torch off at the far end. That should mean that we are sorting items into these right now. Oh, what happened here? Because um, somebody's been throwing stuff in my system. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, um, you know what? You do have to create the filters. Oh, brother. We do have to put in filters. So, let's see here. Yep. And then, what did we put in this? So, that one has got nothing but gunpowder now. We need to pull this out of here, and it will get nothing but string. The third one uh, is going to have bones in it, so let's grab a stack of bones. third one is going to be bones, and we can see that it's currently just... Because I didn't create the filters. Dun, 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 dun. So when you do yours, create the filters. Oh, oh I'm on the me. Okay. So this one should now be getting nothing but bones. And let's see. What are we putting in this one? This one really is rotten flesh. Yay. Rotten flesh. And then what do we put in this one? We've put nothing in here yet, so what do we need to put in here? Uh, arrows. We probably need to grab some arrows, and there should be some arrows up there somewhere. There we go. And we'll get item frames put on all of these as well, obviously. Um, so right here will be arrows. Uh, 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 arrows. And we need uh, a total of 22. 23 will engage the system. So there we go. Oops. Come on, give me those back. So arrows are now in here. And that's all there is to it. Uh, so this row, it's, it's real easy to remember. It looks complicated, but it's not. So the last one just feeds straight down to feed into this last chest. Everything else, so you've got a transport tube, which is at the top. This is our pipe. And you can see that it, you know it's the pipe because it just points one right after the other, feeding all the way to the end. The next row is the filter. And then the final row, the third row, just puts the stuff out of the filter and into the chest. Now we included another one out of the chest and into the chest so that we would have double rows. But that's really all there is to this concept. Now I'm going to go get some more supplies and finish this out and build up some walls around here and turn this into a real room, and then we'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what I was talking about with the Enderman. As you can see, there are a whole bunch of them sitting here on the pad. Let's see if we can get somebody to come. Um, obviously, I'm using my pickaxe, which would not be my normal weapon of choice against these guys. But uh, And as you can see, now, again, the system is filled up, so we can't pick it up. But that uh, Ender Pearl actually fell right in the middle. That one actually did get sucked up. I saw it for just a second there. But we can literally stand right here and just kill Endermen all day long. As long as we stand against the glass, they can't get to us. But we can beat the snot out of them. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. It is Enderman Revenge. All right. So I'm going oh, well, to see if y'all have Oh, look at there. A whole bunch of them. Oh, I bet that's really loud. I hope And again, the only reason these didn't get picked up is because the system is just absolutely backed up with items right now. Oh, I really want that Ender Pearl. Uh, it'll get maybe the uh, system now. If the filters hooked up a little bit. We'll get picked. Uh, we'll pick it up before. So uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go make some more hoppers, and we'll finish our system here. We'll look and see what's actually flowing into the way we configure what we need. We come look at this last chest. Um, look at this last chest, which is holding all the miscellaneous stuff. And anything that's flowing into here, I don't know why there's gunpowder in there. Anything that's flowing into here is not landing in a chest somewhere down here, so we still need a filter for it. So, so far, uh, this is all witch stuff, and I'm okay with the witch stuff falling in here. The enderpearls will eventually end up in here, so that we may not actually need much more. We'll keep an eye on it over the next little bit, and um, I'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Thanks. Hey, guys, one more quick update. Uh, you'll see that these are no longer lined up. This was the original row, and I knew something. I was doing something goofy when I set that up the first time. Uh, I had to pull all these chests out and the hopper that's behind them and move them forward one. Uh, and you can stack them like I had them stacked, where the hopper's under this one and the chests start here. So 
this, these three, the, the two chests and the hopper, shifted back one. You can do that on any row beyond this second one. But on the second row, if they're pushed back like that, where this hopper's sitting under the back of this chest, then this hopper is powered uh, by this redstone torch back here. So it's shut off, and it can't push the items forward, uh, except when this is flashing. So what will happen is you'll end up having items uh, fill up in here and fill up in here, and it can actually, uh, if your game glitches even a little bit, it can actually break your filter. So just take and move this to the front of the chest on this row, and this is the only row you have to do that. On the other rows, you can put it under the back and then start the next chest right here. And, and you know, maybe someday we'll feel the need to have more than a double chest of, you know, whatever it is here. Uh, Gun, how did we, oh, that's, okay, so here was the deal. See, this is what was happening up here. Uh, this was powered. You should see those. You should see it actually climbed this over 50. These are trap chests, so when I open them, it shuts the system down. 57. This chest was getting powered earlier. I could take this one out from the side so it didn't get emptied. This chest was powered, or this a hopper was powered earlier, so this chest was uh, not able to push its items out. So, ho oh, hum, um. There we go. So uh, be careful. Just observe your redstone. Uh, keep rules for redstone in mind. And I apologize for making that mistake. So I hope you've seen this before you start trying to build the item sorter on your own. It's a lot easier if you'll use all regular chests and leave a gap. Um, you won't run into these problems with trying to crunch this stuff up. Uh, because if I open this chest, y you'll, you'll see what happened here happen. The gunpowder can't come in because the chest is open and that's shut down. The, the chest will also power that. So the item filter will start to build up. Well, the, more, the moment it gets an extra 16 items in the uh, filter... It's going to, it's going to turn on that next one too. That red still, that signal will be strong enough to reach over there and turn that one on, and it'll start flushing extra stuff out of our item sorter. So item sorters are great when they're working really nice. When they're not working really nice, they can be a real pain in the patootie. So just keep that in mind. Be careful with what you're doing. Uh, repeat the way it looks currently with those shifted forward instead of back here, and you should be fine. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, okay, we're back. Uh, we got a room built around the chest down there. We expanded a little more, and uh, I put on my equipment so I can come and karate chop some uh, Enderman. Hiya! Oh, I did not promise, like, after episode 5, I would never do the karate chop thing again. Oh my goodness, what a terrible transition idea that was. Uh, but I do, did want to come kill some uh, Enderman and Shayha. As long as I get back, I've got my sword. Uh, they remain pretty easy to kill, and uh, fairly safe for me to do it. The only thing that might get you. If you're going to AFK here, you need to do it downstairs, you don't need to do it up here, uh, because what will happen is that every once in a while, one of those uh, chicken rider things, the zombie, the little baby zombies on a uh, chicken, they will not take fall damage. They do not take fall damage because the chicken flies as it comes down, so, um, and of course he is short enough that he can run right over here and kill you. So if you're going to AFK, do it down here. Now, let's take a look. Um, now if we look under here, we can see what's being processed. Uh, as things come in that are filtered, these lights will flash. Or these torches will flash. They'll turn off when something comes through their filter. I was hoping something would hit. Uh, oh, okay, so right there. That was this first chest, so that's gunpowder. So some gunpowder just went into the system. We got most of a double chest after the system finally cleared itself. Same there, same there, uh, same here. Uh, probably, well, slightly more than, ha than uh, half of a double chest. Now, I went ahead and created a filter for the eggs uh, because those same chickens that fall uh, will eventually... The, the zombie kid thing, whatever, will, will die or wander out where he will get killed and the chicken will be left and the chicken will be laying eggs. So um, this is like, I don't know, I think we've got half of one stack of eggs back at the castle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's about ten or twelve times the number of eggs we already had, so that's great. That'll help us. And uh, obviously we are picking up pearls. And I just set the rest of this up. Um, a hopper pulling down has a greater priority than one pushing sideways. So what this set will do, there's, notice this is not filtered, uh, and I really should take that out. But if this whole thing fills up, if that entire double chest, and this is really kind of overflow protection, if this double chest fills up, and that hopper, and this double chest, so that this hopper can no longer be filled up, then this one will start pushing stuff over to the next row. And when these all fill up, it'll push it over to the next one. When these all fill up, it'll finally... So we end up with eight double chests of overflow. Um, it would take a lot. I mean, maybe if I AFK down here overnight or something, it might manage to fill all that up, but... Uh, that's a lot of capacity for this system, so I think we're good to go there for a while. I just wanted to give you a last little update. We've still got a little cleanup we need to do here. Um, I thought I had already cleaned that up, but a little cleanup we need to do here and allow us access to the front and the back of the system. And uh, there it is, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, be sure to like and comment. I appreciate it, and thanks for spending your time with me. Hey guys, be sure to click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and sub if you haven't, and uh, check out the rest of my videos. Appreciate you spending your time with me, and have a great day.